Cheers. I am your host, Fat Dag. You're listening to Wise Advice. My weight loss journey failed when I focused on how. It wasn't until I switched my focus to why that I truly transformed myself. Join the show on the web at fatdag.com and follow along on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all at Wise Advice. Send in your comments, your questions, your celebrations. I'll include them as part of the show. But before we dive in, remember, when you're out of points, stop eating points. Hey, I'm honored to be your wingman as we walk through this journey together because I believe in you. Well, hello there. Welcome to episode 269. Always good to hang out with you guys live before the show on Facebook, uh, Twitter, and on YouTube. It's, it's a, just a blast to kind of hang out for think, five, ten minutes before the show, just to kind of get caught up and to just say hello and kind of makes it a big party before we get ready to do the live show. So for those of you who joined us live, thank you. If you haven't, get over to fatdag.com, follow us on social media, and uh, get in the Wise Wingman Facebook group. All those places uh, give you access to come in here and watch the show before the show. The best way, though, follow the Wise Advice account on Twitter. Uh, I'll give you a, I give you a 15-minute notice that I'm going live. Actually, I let you know the second I decide I'm going to go live, and then 15 minutes before the show, and then you get a tweet right at the show start time to say, come join us in Twitter, uh, Facebook, and YouTube, and we'll make it all work. So that's the game plan there. Had a great visit, visit today to Edge Media Solutions again, uh, Site Strategics. A uh, good buddy of mine, Aaron, owns a studio out there. As you guys know, I'm working on two different projects. I'm working on uh, a project to bring the recording studio into my basement and then working on a project also simultaneously to build a recording studio or to, sorry, contract out with a recording studio already here in Indianapolis. I'm going to try to figure out which one makes the most sense financially. There are pros and cons to both. The bottom line is, is, is both of them allow me to get you better content, more consistent content once I retire from the Air Force uh, in August. Man, I tell you, 27 years, I'm, I'm honored to do it, but I'm ready. I'm ready to, to bring this to you live. I, I need more inspiration. You need more inspiration. Uh, this once a week thing just ain't cutting it. We started doing this thing every day for a reason, and I can't wait to get back to that. So hang in there. It, we're not far away. We're, you know, that we're recording this on May 13th, and so uh, just a couple more months, and then all of a sudden, boom, everything changes. So thanks for being here for sure. If you haven't already, get to your app store, download the Wise Advice app. Uh, it's the best way to hear the show. The first email of tonight comes in from Shira. Uh, she writes and says, hi, Fat Dag. I I've written in before and you read my emails on air and it makes me feel like a celebrity. I've been following you since almost the beginning and I believe we joined WW around the same time. In one of your more recent podcasts, you talked about your why and, and how to kind of rededicate yourself back to your why and something in that really stuck a chord in me. I've been hovering at the same weight for a long time, and I adjusted my lifetime goal to meet this weight. Even though I knew in my heart that this is not my goal weight, and I would actually like my goal weight to be five pounds less. I've been going over my points daily for a while now, and, and that's why I probably can't lose the last five pounds. But something you said in one of your more recent shows about how 95% of your effort will get you through this process but it's really that last 5% and really dedicating yourself and using that last 5% to push through and maintain lifetime it was, is what will get us through. And that really spoke to me. Uh, I'm determined to have a blue dot today, and, I, and I'm on my way to doing it. I'm going to take it one day at a time, but I am determined to lose these last five pounds and really get to my personal goal weight that I've set for myself. Thank you so much for all that you do. I listen to your podcast every Sunday while I clean, do laundry, and go about my day, and they are so helpful. You have helped me in countless ways along my journey. Thank you for all that you do. I really do believe that I would not have been successful without your podcast. Sincerely, Shira. Well, how cool is this? Uh, so I, I agree with you that you know the, we need a little more than just a daily inspiration. And the term that I, I love to joke around with is that we do the show every single day, except for the days we don't. And, and if you've been following along since day one, you know that the days that we don't seem to outnumber the days that we do. But uh, that all changes here in August when we, when we kind of reshift everything. But here's what I want you to know. There's 269 episodes. So every single day you can plug in some motivation to find something 
to get you back going. And so this 95% effort that you talk about, so 95% effort is that that's when you go all out for 95% of the effort. You have some days that aren't exactly your best. You can get to a very new self place. You can get to some place that, that you've never been. But you're right, it's that last 5% that is, that is completely game-changing. And so when you, when you get there, you recognize that it, it's an instant, I am a different person. Now, I, I may be actually, of course, the same person, but I feel better. And in my case, I have more confidence and, and more stamina. And everything is just better that last 5%. But that last 5% is when you truly have to ditch some of the lifestyle behaviors that were yours in the past that, that no longer support this new life. That is where you've got to say, I am completely changing my life. That's where it's at. And so, so when you get to that, that last 5% nugget and that last 5% of motivation, that's the hardest point. That's the point where you, where you really have to decide, you know, which life do I want to live? And do I want to live the old lifestyle? Do I want to live the new lifestyle? Somewhere in between you can find success. But, but if you truly want to go all in, it takes that last 5%. And so you can get there. That's the cool thing. And then when you get there, you can make the decision on what it looks like, what it feels like, and you can always adjust throughout your journey. So here you are, you know, just five pounds, but, you know, above what you consider your goal weight. I think if we look back and we celebrate that accomplishment, right? I mean, here we are, we're arguing over a five pound difference. There's a, there's a really good chance that, that when you started this journey, a five pound difference wasn't going to be the thing that made you, you know, do or die in that sense. It wasn't what we weren't arguing over whether we wanted to be, you know, this weight or five pounds difference. We celebrated the first five pound loss and we continued to rock it and congratulations on doing that. But, but here we are now, you were getting all the way down to the finite details in the last five pounds of your journey. And I promise you, it is the best five pounds you can lose. The first five is, is very close. Uh, the last five, completely different. You got this. That blue dot day will carry you through. Continue to follow in your tracker. Continue to track in everything you eat, right? And, and when you're out of points, we say stop eating points. That's kind of the game plan. To get to that last 5%, that has to be your mantra every single meal consistently, day in, day out. And you have to adjust your life so that that food sustains you in doing so. It's a truly an honor to do this. Thank you for tuning in every Sunday uh, and getting your, your feed on at that point. Uh, I believe that you would have been just as successful without the podcast. Uh, you know, and, and because here's why. Because you've been successful with it, which means that all of the ability to do it was yours. We just found something that reminded you along the way that you could do this. So take credit for all of your hard work. Take credit for the success that you did. And, and I'm glad that this tool helps you. But what I want you to know more than anything is that you did this. 100% you. 100% you did it. You got it done. Uh, Shira, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, right back in when you figure out those last five. I can't wait to share that on the air. Out of uh, Somerset, Massachusetts, Jamie writes in, says, hi, Mike. Hey, just a quick note. Wednesday, I will hit 48 pounds lost, but, uh, but I was up a whole pound this morning. But as those in the wise wingman group saw from my picture, I was feeling great. And, and I still did this morning despite the scale. I'm a daily wearer uh, despite the scale being up. I tracked everything as always. I, I got a blue dot and I was mindful. It was all good and, and it still was this morning. So the celebration is, I think I finally understand when Mike says you will feel what goal is. You will just know it. It wasn't about the number this morning. It was a feeling. Well, I'm not at my goal weight quite yet. I'm inching closer, and that is a celebration. Uh, Jamie, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I wish I could, I wish I could take, um, I wish I could bottle that energy up because there is something that happens when you have completely changed your life and you've gotten to the point where, where you're no longer and, you know, the whys that got you started no longer exist in that sense. Like in, in my case, it was, it was the danger of failing a fitness test and, and being on high blood, blood pressure medicine and just being completely out of shape. All of that is gone, right? So, so that piece of it, 
uh, I'm glad to have gotten rid of, and it took me completely changing my life to get there. And so that number, depending on what the scale is, that doesn't come back instantly. That doesn't come back with a pound or two, right? That just doesn't even come back with five or 10 in, in, in some cases. That comes back with, with being completely unaware of what you're doing day to day and just living a life that isn't the life that we know we're capable of. So, so as you weigh yourself daily and you get to that point where, where the scale pops up a number you weren't expecting and it's up a little bit, there are still ways for you to be completely proud of everything you're doing. And so, you know, it's very similar to the first email, right, is, is we laugh nowadays. Like when we're losing weight, I get it, right? When you, when you know you've worked your tail off and you know you did good and you come in and you, you hop in on the scale and it's up one pound, I understand the true frustration. And, and in a lot of cases, that's enough to get someone to go, yeah, I'm done. I quit doing this. And, 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 I, and I, you know, I don't want to ever see that. But, but when you get very close to goal, and you're, and you're really, you're so close and you're down 48 pounds, which is significant. It's an amazing accomplishment. You can't do that on accident. It takes hard work and dedication. When you're down 48 pounds and all of a sudden you go up one, no big deal. If you're true to the process and you're true to, the, to, to continuing on and you're mindful and aware of all the things in your life that are now different, right? And at that point, it's not about the number on the scale. It's about your daily activity. It's about, it's about the things that you can do now. It's about your gratitude. It's about how well you feel. And so there is nothing you can step on that gives you that set of data. That's something that you have to figure out internally. And when you figure it out internally, that is what we're after. We're after the piece where, where we just feel amazing. And it doesn't matter what the scale says. Now, sure, at some point, you know, the scale, you know, as it continues, if it were to continue to climb back up, we do have to worry about the things that put us here in the first place. But, but it's not a one to two pounds. It, it's you being consistently doing the right things, building your new life, living your new life, and living happily ever after. Jamie, you have an amazing mindset. Amy calls it out on Facebook. She says, great job. Uh, very proud of you and your mindset. The mindset, folks, I'm telling you, the mindset is what I, I, if I could give you that more than anything, that would be the gift that I could give you. If I could give you the ability to go, okay, I'm waking up today and I'm, I'm aware of what I'm doing. Even if you don't make the right choices, you're aware of them. That is significant victory. I, I know, again, in my journey, day one, or sorry, before day one, there was nothing I could care about. I, I wasn't thinking about anything. Now, every single day, and it's still true to this day, every single day, one of the things I, I check in with my health, I check in with, with how I'm doing, and, and, I, and I take a, a kind of a pause and reflect and go, yeah, I'm doing this. And so even the days that, that, you know, that I consider now balanced, you know, and, and if they go off balance a little bit, but it's still mentally aware. And so, Jamie, you've got that figured out. The mindset truly is the gift, uh, and you've earned that. Congratulations. The 48-pound weight loss certainly has given that to you, and I could not be more proud of you as well. So keep up the amazing work. Last email of the show comes in at uh, Kannapolis, North Carolina. Comes in from Lisa. She says, hi, uh, dear Mike. I'm writing this on my birthday. I'm not sure I'll ever hit send, but uh, when I'm done. So I just know I have a bunch of thoughts swirling around in my head that I need to get out. You see, I received a rather unconventional gift this year. It was a phone call from my doctor giving me results from my annual wellness exam. She said a lot of things, but it boiled down to pre-cancer, more tests needed. The thoughts, the emotions that surfaced at a rapid fire pace. Uh, first was fear, fear of what this means for my health. Fear of how, how it will impact my life. Fear of what will happen in the future. And oddly, fear that I would launch into an emotional eating binge. Yep, one of my very first thoughts was, I don't want to eat my feelings. But I was terrified that I would. As is typical of me, I began to research. The fear of the unknown has always been worse for, for me than knowing the facts. I discovered that I now have a 20% increased risk of developing cancer within the next 10 years not because of the abnormalities, but that were revealed in my yearly checkup because I was actually also diagnosed with HPV. 
Well, as you can imagine, the next emotion to come along was anger. I was furious. There are only two possible places that I could have caught this cancer-causing virus, from either my first or my second husband. I was mad at them. I was mad at life. I was mad at the world. I was just mad. I felt like I'd been doing everything right, especially now. Why now? I'm the strongest and healthiest I've ever been during my adult life. I've worked really hard to get here. I have a job that I love. I have a wonderful husband that I love so much. I didn't want to be mad at him. I have a great family and wonderful friends. I'm involved in causes that I feel passionate about and truly enjoy. Serving with Operation Fat Dag, co-producing the Wise Advice podcast, and editing for the fatdag.com blog team. I have opportunities on the horizon that I never dreamed were possible. This might ruin some of those opportunities for me. Yeah, I was really, really mad. At this point, you might be wondering how all of this was a gift. I'm writing into the show a few times. Uh, uh, one of those emails was my why. My why is because I love my body. It didn't happen naturally. It was a choice. I hated my body until one day I, I decided that my body had been so faithful, carrying me through this life, that it really deserved my love. It didn't take me long to realize that I was directing all of my energy at being angry instead of directing it towards loving my body. This frightening diagnosis gave me the gift of adding one more level to my why. My why 2.0 is to love my body and treat it so well that it becomes healthy and strong enough to fight the HPV and fight off pre-cancer. Oh, and that 20% that increased risk of cancer that I'm facing? Well, that means actually I have an 80% chance of remaining cancer-free. I'm going to give my body every fighting chance of being in that 80%. I'm no longer angry. I'm thankful. Thankful that this is something that I can fight off. Thankful that I'm physically and mentally in a place that I can take the action needed to give my body the best chance. Oh, and thankful that I've, I've grown enough that I did not eat my feelings. I stayed on plan. Maybe that was the best gift of all. Lisa. Lisa, you are incredible. Um, love your body 2.0 is, is a great, uh, we need to start that hashtag, get that thing trending out there. But yeah, for sure. Um, let's go all the way back to, to the whole range of emotion that you brought up. And, uh, I, I think every one of us can relate to all of it. Um, congratulations on your incredible, incredible mindset. Uh, my heart breaks for you with, with this diagnosis, but what I'm so proud to see is that you've gotten to a place where, where you understand that your, that your body is what's going to take care of you through this process. And so you now have the ability to take care of it so that it can take care of you. And, it, and if you go back a little bit further, like you said, as an adult, you're in the best shape of your life, which is going to give you the best opportunity to live a long, healthy, happy life. You're very, very strong and you got this. You, you know that you got this and you know that your entire community of wingmen are right behind you saying, yeah, you can do this. So uh, what a great gift that you've been given. And I think the biggest gift of all is that you recognize the mindset shift in your journey. So the entire range of emotions that, that are very valid, right? I'm not, I'm not going di to dismiss any of them. You know, there, there's fear, there's anger. Those are real emotions. And so what you have demonstrated through your entire journey is that, that you understand that, that the, the eating and the binge eating that usually comes and we try and hide fear and anger with wasn't going to help you. And so on your birthday, you sat down and penned a letter and then you got complete control of your emotion. Happy birthday. What an amazing gift that you've given yourself on your own birthday is that, is that you took a moment to, to jot down things that you were thinking and to allow yourself to get to a place where you can kind of now figure out the true cause, the true root, and really formulate a plan for long term. That, that's the incredible gift that you've given yourself. And by you taking a moment to, to put it all in email and sending it into the show, which comes into you, luckily, right? And so, and I know you wrote this a few weeks ago, so it takes a while to get on the show, even if you're the producer. Uh, but thank you for taking the time 
to write it out. And, and I think you opened your email the way so many people do is that they say, I'm not sure I will ever hit send. And so I want you to know I understand that. And, and I want you to know that for those of you who have done that, um, that is just as therapeutic as sending it in. And so what I want you to do is whether you send it in or not, of course, there's no show if you don't send it in, but whether you send it in or not is really a, irrelevant. What matters is, is that you sit down like Lisa did. You sit down and you document the emotional reaction that you're having. And so the time it takes you to put this to pen to paper and type it out on a keyboard, whatever method you use, and use the time it takes to do that, generally speaking, we can then go, okay, I understand that eating is not going to be the cure. Eating is not going to help me. It's actually going to, it's going to do just the opposite because when I'm done eating, I'm going to have the same issues that I had before I started eating. Oh, and then I'm going to have additional issues on top of that. So, so you've done that. You are doing everything right. And, and, you're, and you've gotten to the point, Lisa, now where, where you know what's right and what's working in your new lifestyle. Incredible journey that you've been on. And, and so, folks, if you're not already tracking, um, that's just where I want you to get to. I want you to get to the point where, where you emotionally have complete control of, the, of what's going on, right? And so the, the typical reactions are now controlled, and you can say, okay, is this going to align with my goal? Does this push me closer to my goal? Does this make me the healthiest version of me or not? And then you take a moment and you pause and, and you think about it. And then, and then when all the dust settles, you have a moment to go, okay, wait a minute. No, no, uh, everything I have going in my life is going good. And, and for those of us in the, uh, in the Discord chat today for patrons, every Monday we, we do a chat where we, we get together for about an hour and just kind of discussing that. I, I talked about looking for all the things that are going right in your life. Andy Andrews does a great job of saying this, that there are a million people on this planet that would trade everything they have to live a day in your life. He goes on to say that if you had the opportunity, if we could all sit together and we could write down everything that's going wrong in our life, and we could write it down and we could throw it into a pile in the center of the room. But the rule is you've got to walk out with, with something. You, no one gets out of this world scot-free. If you could reach into that pile, you would start looking at them and you would you would beg for your own back. That's the place we want to get to. We want to get to the place where, where everything that we're going through, everything that we are dealt with, we know that we are capable of handling it. And so, so everything that we've been given, we've been given for a reason because we have the ability to fight it off. So now here you are, you're at a place where you're in the best shape of your life. Imagine getting this news many you know, years ago when, when you're not mentally strong, completely different world for you. But here you are, a wonderful job, wonderful husband, wonderful causes that you support, knowing that your, your life is full of gratitude, which is what we talked about today, and that gratitude now gives you the strength to fight this thing. It gives you the strength to recognize that you have an 80% chance. I'll take those odds all, almost often right? You, those odds are incredible odds, but, but, and, but it took you a time to get this thing written down where you were able to shift from, rather than looking at the 20%, you looked at the abundance of the 80% and you yeah, said, yeah, I got this. Deep in your Y 2.0, you have got this thing going on. You love your body. You treat it so well. It is healthy, happy, and strong, and it will fight off everything for you. Continue to do what you're doing. I'm so glad that you've ditched the anger and, and turned into gratitude, knowing that, that you are mentally, physically in the place that you can take whatever action you need to give yourself the absolute best chance. That is the gift. The gift is that you have given yourself that opportunity to go win. Oh, and staying on plan? Yeah, that's just a byproduct right? That's you living life, doing well, doing everything right and getting it done. And you understand that your goals are bigger and you got them done. Lisa, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all that you've done for the show. Thank you for what you've done for Operation Bat Tag. Uh, thank you as a, from personally. I know you and I chat quite a bit uh, back and forth personally. And so thank you for all that you've done. Uh, you're an incredible inspiration and uh, we're here for you. Whatever you need from this community, you just let us know and we will answer in force. 
So thank you for that. And uh, let's all just keep rocking it, right? So that, that's, a, that's, where we're, that's where we're at, guys. And so what I want you to do is if you're listening right now, I, I want you to find a way to do exactly what Lisa did in this email. I, I want you to find a way to look at everything that you have going on and, and start focusing on what's going right. Shift from that 20% to that 80% and start seeing the things that you actually, that, that are there for you that, that other people don't have the, the ability to have. And I want you to appreciate them and I want you to write them down and start, and start looking for other opportunities for things to be grateful for. Those grateful opportunities, those grateful moments cause you to start celebrating the little things in life. And, and, and the more you celebrate, the more you start looking for celebrations. And that's what this whole show is about, is about celebrating your life and celebrating your success and celebrating together. So I want to know, what is it that you're celebrating? Let's share it on the air. Go to fatdag.com, click on the Wise Advice Podcast, send in your celebration, send in the comments, send in your questions. I'll work them in as part of the show. When you email in your celebrations, I, I want you to do it because I want you to be proud of what you're doing. I want to help you along your journey. I want, I want you to find a place of gratitude. I want to help you get there. You have the ability to get there. Every single person listening, you have the opportunity and the ability to shift your mindset and give yourself the gift of life. Well, that's going to do it for this time. Remember that losing weight and getting healthy has nothing to do with luck. You have to remain disciplined and focused. Set your sights on your goal and go after it. On behalf of my producers, Heather and Lisa, we wish you Thank you for listening to the Wise Advice Podcast. Did you know for as little as $1 a month, you can take the next step as a wingman and support the show? Visit fatdag.com, click on Become a Patron today.